Hi, I'm Hazel. It is almost Saturday, so it's time for a new vlog. This week was a brand new week of tomb progression, and we managed to kill a couple more bosses. So we are officially six of nine now. Um, we we're almost seven and nine. We almost killed Maiden. We had a couple of issues with, you know, you know, it's like the end of the night, and sometimes people can't really tell when their colors changed, and it's really hard to rock to the other side because it's late, and it's hard to see colors when it's late at night. I'm not salty at all. But yeah, tomb was really fun this week. I will say, I like Maiden of Vigilance. I like, like, progressing and doing the Maiden fight a heck of a lot more than I like doing Desolate Host. Something about that Soul Engine Desolate Host fight, I mean, it's just really annoying to do. It seems like they've designed that fight as like the challenge isn't necessarily the mechanics, the challenge is communicating between the up and the bottom group. Like I'm trying to imagine pugs and guilds that raid without some kind of a voice chat. I don't know who does that, somebody must. But like casual guilds that raid without voice chat trying to coordinate the up and the down team, like I can't, I can't imagine that fight can be really frustrating. Um, also, I found out if you get the little thing that knocks you down to the realm on Desolate Host, um, you know how it kicks you back a little bit. Don't be by the back edge when that happens. It will knock you off. But yeah, we had a really fun week in Tomb. I have enough footage now for at least another three heroic guides. So those are going to be coming out as I get them made. And uh, oh, I got my four piece this week. I officially have my Shadow Priest four piece. And you would think I would be doing a bunch more damage. And I feel like I should be because it makes your insanity drain slower when you're um, in void form. So you get these really long void forms. And long void forms are all about how to do damage. And uh, I just haven't figured it out yet. I am like, I need to just like take all of my gear and all of my trinkets from my bank and then just like have a picnic at a target dummy and figure out my life because there is a good, like Shadow Priests are good right now. We're like fourth ranked DPS in Tumas Argaris and like overall average net rankings. And I am not doing that well. I'm a bit of a hot mess. So I need to do some research and get some practice in on some target dummies and figure out exactly what I'm supposed to be wearing and what I'm supposed to be looking for and bonus rolling on and kind of figure out my life. And once I've done that, I can start making some Shadow Priest guides, but I don't want to start telling other people what to do until I'm completely confident that I'm doing the right thing. And right now I am not doing the right thing, but it's fun. And I'm really glad that I have my four piece now and I'm just, I'm just moving on. I'm not going to try and four plus two unless they say it's really important because there's important legendaries that go in those slots. Also, one of these days, Safus is going to drop for me and it's going to be my birthday. Like it's going to be, I mean, hopefully it's not my birthday because my birthday's not until September. And if I have to go the whole summer without Safus, I'm going to be very cranky, but hopefully uh, it's just, it's just going to be the best day because it looks so good on so many fights in Tomb. Even if you can't proc it, it's good. But there's so many fights where you can proc it. Ooh, I want one. So yeah, that was my week in raid. <laughs> what else have I been doing? I've been doing a little bit of the rogue campaign. Um, I'm progressing through all of my alts that I'm playing to try and get the battle pets from them. So I'm currently on my rogue to try and get crackers. And also, now that I have 110 rogue, I can open my own lock boxes, which is always nice. Um, but yeah, I'm working on crackers. I'm doing the rogue campaign. I cannot get a relic to save my life. I'm running around with like a good amount of Dauntless gear on, so you'd think I could kill things, but my my poor little daggers are like 750 because I just can't find a relic. You'd, you'd think they would pop up on a world quest, but no. So I'm looking for relics on my rogue. I've been playing subtlety because people tell me it's got better upfront burst and it's better for like world questing, which is going to be most of what I'm doing. And I think they're right, but I'm not very good at it yet. But it is really fun running around a little, a little stabby gnome rogue. So I'm enjoying that. And it's not going to be as big of a deal as like the whole monk thing was because for the rogue, you don't need to get concordance of legion fall or even complete the legion fall campaign to get your pet. All you have to do is finish that third week step that gives you your class order hall follower. So you got to do a lot of the campaign, but you don't have to like finish everything. So yeah, rogue's been really fun. Um, after my rogue, the next alt on the list is my death knight. And I think I'm going to let that one sit for a little bit because I heard in 7.3, it has been confirmed that we're going to have the artifact knowledge cap raised to 50 again. And that's going to be like a lot more artifact knowledge and artifact power gain than we have right now. So in 7.3, it's going to be a lot easier to get a new alt um, concordance of legion fall. And because to get all the death knight pads, you're going to need to do that three times. I figure it's probably, I'm just going to chill. I'm just going to wait. 7.3 can come out eventually, and that would be a good time to do the Death Knight thing. And for now, he can just sit on my loading screen and look handsome. On the topic of 7.3, um, I'm excited to start doing a couple of 7.3 videos. I know I said I was going to finish the Tomb Guides first, and I will finish the Tomb Guides. But I'm going to start sprinkling a couple of them in while I wait for my guild to progress a little further, because I want to use heroic footage in all the Tomb Guides. And I also really want to get into the 7.3 stuff. And also, I think it'll be nice for there to be more to watch on the channel than just raid guides, um, especially for people that don't raid. So yeah, I've actually been, oddly enough, avoiding spoilers. I have somehow managed to avoid spoilers so far on what the 7.3 stuff looks like. Like, I know that there's going to be new mounts and pets probably, and like, I know that there's going to be new spell animations, and I know that they're in on the PTR, but I haven't looked at them yet. And I think what I'm going to do is, at least for the priest ones, because I'm pretty 
heavily invested in the Shadow Priest animations. I'm like really, really on edge to see what they look like, um, particularly on my gnome. So I was thinking of making a video where I look at those, but like for the first time, kind of like a reaction thing. So I'm going to be doing that hopefully this week if I can find some time. But yeah, I want to I want to see them, but I don't want to see them. I want to I want to see them for myself. I want to get in there and like tear it apart with my own hands. So that'll be fun. Um, another thing video related either this weekend or next week, as soon as I can find a little bit of time to do it or a lot of time because this might take me a while. Um, I'm going to be doing a restructuring of my channel's playlists. Um, so if you have any of my playlists saved, then if I delete that one, it might like I, I'm going to be messing with my playlist. So things are going to be a little bit wonky for a bit. Um, I'm going to try and get it all done in one day. But basically what I'm trying to do there is sort of consolidate the older playlists into bigger ones so that I have a lower total number of playlists, but make sure that the newer ones of videos that are still relevant are fairly specific so that if you're looking at my channel and you're looking through all of my playlists, it's easy to find the content that you're looking for and you're not going to have to scroll through like six pages of individual playlists of games that I let's played four years ago. So that's my plan. It's going to be kind of like a stat squish, but for playlists on my channel um, for a weird analogy and um, kind of like the stat squish. I'm probably going to do that somewhat periodically so like right now i might make a 7.3 playlist and have that pinned to the channel page so you can see all the 7.3 stuff but next expansion i might take all that stuff and sort of squash it into like a big giant like legion or even just past expansions playlist just to kind of keep things a little bit cleaned up and easier to find now, what else happened this week uh oh i made a uh patreon goal um in july and the goal and we might have made that a little bit earlier i don't quite remember exactly when we hit it but basically the thing that i said i would do is continue upgrading my channel's hardware so obviously we have like the new camera and we have the new camera for baking streams and whatnot but what i got i got yesterday i got oh, and i obviously haven't set this up yet but i got a fancy new microphone. Ah, I'm very excited about this. It should be a good step up from this one once I get it set up properly. It came with like a million feet of XLR cable. This thing is like a Python in my office. <laughs> so I'm really excited about that. I'm going to try and set that up soon. But before I do, I want to make two videos specifically about this microphone just as kind of like a retirement thing for it because um, like this is a Blue Yeti and this is a really common microphone and it's done really well for me for you know over three years now so a i want to make a review um talking about it talking about my experiences with this mic um over three years of it and who it would be good for and whatnot and b i want to make a guide um filled with like tips for setting it up so if somebody does get it and they're trying to set it up things that will help make that process smoother because when i first got this i sounded like trash <laughs> like it's plug and play but there's definitely some things that are helpful to know um i went through some weird troubleshooting when i first got this thing so so that's the plan i'm, I'm gonna try and get those two made at some point i don't know exactly when but you know soon and then after that i'll be able to transition to my fancy new microphone and then i get to learn how to set that one up but at least I think I have all the bits now. Also mildly microphone related, thank you guys to everybody that came to my baking stream yesterday. Um, we made some conjured mana buns. My microphone held up, my wireless mic solution finally worked, which you don't understand how happy I am. I have been spending a lot of time and a fair bit of money trying to just figure that out. And we did, the wireless mic works. Um, unfortunately, my wireless internet uh, pooped out of me a little bit in, in the end of it. So the very last part of the stream VOD is gonna look a little bit janky, but I should have that sorted out for next time. So yeah, the next baking stream is going to be on Tuesday, July the 18th. We are going to be making the bloodberry tart from the WoW cookbook that is not a meat product. There's no actual blood in it. It's like a raspberry, blueberry, berry pie tart thing. It'll, it should be good. Um, and I am quite looking forward to that. So questions from this week. Mike asks, if you could take any creature or character model in the game and turn it into a battle pet, which would you choose? So could I take like the grown up Anduin model and then just have him like follow me around? Like don't even shrink him into a pet size. Just have him like hang out with me in, in game and like come along in world quests and stuff. <gasps> Can I have Anduin as a combat follower? He's a priest. Gimme, 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 gimme. Please, 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 please. <sighs> It's probably late for them to be adding those, but I mean, then 7.3 Argus, there's hope. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Um, so yeah, um, <laughs> Anduin, if we're talking things that might actually happen, um, I think it'd be neat if they had, like, you know how we have, like, Zeppelin pets and there's, like, some talk pets and, like, other sort of mechanical transport vehicle pets? We've got, like, the cannon now, too, with, like, the wheels. Wouldn't it be cool? I don't know how they would animate this. And the fact that it's going to be, the fact that it would be kind of weird to do, it probably means it's not going to happen. But how cool would it be to have, like, boats? If they could figure out how to make boats sail across the ground i mean even just like 
a boat with some wheels on it, like a toy boat. I would like a toy boat. I would like a toy boat on wheels, like a little a little dinky painted one. I think that would be kind of cute. Um, although that's not a model that's in the game, is it? I also wanted to see some duck pets, but those aren't in the game either. Why can't we have ducks? Imagine if we could get a duck mount. Do you think there's ducks on Argus? I'm going to get in the PTR. I'm going to go look for some ducks. Um... <laughs> I don't know if I answered that question, but I tried. Crazy Bobin asks, I know you don't do too much PvP, but I have seen you on Savix's stream in comments. Can you make a video about hashtag solo queue? Well, for your information, I did play a lot of PvP. Um, I have a good amount of experience. I'm retired now. I don't do arena anymore, but I have one, two, three, four-ish seasons of like duelist-ish games ground out. I never really got farther than that. I never quite got glad, but I was, I was playing. But anyways, um, the solo queue thing. So... You're not going to like this, but I'm not going to make a video about solo queue. I'm going to kind of sit that one out. And the reason for that is because I can't in good conscience make the video that you guys want to see. Um, I think solo queue is a great ideal. I think if it went into the game and it worked the way that we want it to and the way that people like talk about like the dream, if solo queue worked the way the dream worked, like you could just queue up on your own, get a game you know, play and rise in rating because of your own skill and not have to like find teammates and whatever. If that worked like that, that would be great. But I think that WoW specifically as a game has a couple of things that would make it really hard for that dream to become possible. There's just logical problems that kind of prevent that dream from being more realistic. And if I made that video, it would just turn into me going into all of the reasons why I think solo queue won't happen and or work. Um, and I really, you guys seem really happy and it is a good idea. And I would like if it was, if it worked that way, but I don't really want to be the bubble burster, but I hope I'm wrong. Um, I think it would be great if they added solo queue and they figured out solutions to the problems that I'm thinking of. And if it worked like the dream, that would be amazing. But for now, I'm just going to stay out of that conversation aside from the things that I just said and just kind of watch it all unfold. I Lawson asks, did you go to VidCon? No, <laughs> I have never been to a convention. Have I? I mean, I went to an anime convention when I was 14, but that doesn't really count. I've never been to a convention as like in a YouTube or Blizzard or gaming kind of capacity. I've never done like E3 or BlizzCon or anything like that. Um, if I did do a convention, and I would like to eventually start going to more of them because I think it'd be really fun to meet people and meet other people that do like what I do. Um, I think it would be a really great experience and I'd like to go. So once I'm in a better financial position to start doing conventions, um, BlizzCon is definitely at the top of my list. VidCon could happen eventually, but as I understand it, VidCon is more about like the lifestyle people and like the skits and, and, the, and the vlogging and um, not as much of the gaming thing, but I've never been, so I could be totally wrong. But yeah, once I start going to conventions, it's going to be BlizzCon. Not this year. Maybe next year. We'll see. <laughs> um, in any case, that has been my week. Uh, I will be streaming this afternoon at normal time. I'm going to do, I haven't decided what I'm going to do on stream. So I figure once we get a couple of people there, I'll just do a poll and you guys can decide what I do on stream within the options that I lay out in the poll. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions you would like answered in the vlog, just leave them as comments on the most recent vlog. And I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.